On the last insanity-filled episode of Convention Reviews Takes on MTAC 2024, the crew arrived and were in high spirits as the con actually looked pretty fun. Seems like that drive to Tennessee wasn't a waste after all. We spent the day getting the lay of the land, buying Anya figures, dancing to the Macarena with this guy, and having our hopes and dreams crushed at the risque cosplay contest. We jump back in as the sun rises on Saturday, ready for some free breakfast. Nate, how was your night last night sleeping out here? Not bad. You like the suite? Better than some of the other places we've been. Did you see any ghosts? Uh, the only thing I saw was you crawling to my bed at midnight. Even though I wasn't in here anymore. We, yeah, you weren't here at midnight. <laughs> What's your shirt? It's auto. We just got back from the concert like a week ago. Reppin! Reppin the auto merch! Good right. morning, guys. Or if we want to be weeby about it. Oh, how goes I, Mas? Mina? <laughs> it is Saturday. Big day. We're headed out to free breakfast. Hopefully it's good. Nate, there's a K-pop dance panel. And there's also a, like, old folks home for people who remember glomping and Homestuck, the yaoi paddle. Are we part of that? I think we're just a t slightly too young. <laughs> Are we but uh, senior citizens in the con world? We Not are. Right now. Once you hit 25, you're done. Life's over. Once you only cosplay Studio Ghibli? I'm ooh, just saying. Ooh. I love Studio Ghibli. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Love All right, we're in line. Got my plate. Quite a bit of a line. Los platos. Yes. Los platos. Los platos. You know about that, right? Los platos? I know los cabos. Oh. Drew, how is it? Pretty good? Bacon's pretty good. Really? Bacon's solid. Nice. Did anybody get eggs? Hell no. Those free breakfast eggs are always dangerous, for sure. Guys, it's too bright out here. I didn't bring my ND filter, but good morning. We're headed out. We're about to get on the uh, shuttle. Yeah, we're going to the Sheridan right now. Are you alright? Okay, I'm back over in the Sheridan on my own right now. They are gonna go move Drew's car because it's in another lot. It's a whole thing. They had an another lot that opens up for free, but it was a five last night, but Drew wants to move there today. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna go try to find some cosplay. It's still pretty early, so. Guys, there's a booth sitting here for Comic-Con. We were thinking about going to that this year. We'll see. Nothing confirmed yet. Just a heads up. You might see us there. Once I was alone, I actually managed to step out of my comfort zone and film some cosplayers for the music video. As some combination of COVID and stepping away from the channel for so long, I developed a lot of social anxiety and imposter syndrome when it comes to filming cosplayers. But no one's perfect. Everyone has their issues. This is the big one I'm trying to overcome when it comes to conventions. Anyway, here's a sample of the cosplayers I filmed for the music video. We're headed back into the dealer's rooms. We're gonna go to the one we liked better first, the one on the left up here. It's getting busy, dude. At least this hallway is busy, I don't know. I hope I can bring this in. It seems like they're not letting people. Uh, it was the other one that wasn't letting people though. This one might be all right. Here's the dealer's room. This was my first time experiencing a split dealer's room. And to be honest, I really liked it. I've seen a lot of cons that just didn't have enough space for their dealer's room, but just stuffed it all in one super cramped room and called it a day. Splitting it like this was honestly a breath of fresh air that I hope other cons with space issues will take a look at and really consider implementing. Some photo shoots happening back here. I think it's for Jujutsu. I haven't watched Jujutsu, I'm gonna be honest. I need to. Looks cool though, it's really packed. A lot more people here today. We we're just walking around having fun. Might wanna go back to the other hotel and uh, get back on that guitar here. All right, rock band.
We're working on going back to the other hotel and there's a proper line here, man. I'm shocked. It was never this many people yesterday. It's almost like it's Saturday at a convention. I can't believe it. We're gonna go eat, maybe play some rock band. I don't know. Cosplay contest is at 5.30. We're a little iffy after last night, but uh, assuming the host is somebody different, it should be all right. We finally made it on the bus. The I security said, here sent the last bus away for some here. reason. <laughs> I, just said, I don't know why. Deal. That was weird, right, Drew? <laughs> Guys, there's a lot of security here. I don't know what's going on. It's like different. Th I can't explain it. It's not like any con we've been to. A couple of them have seemed a little on a power trip. I'm not gonna lie. Been uh, an interesting aspect to this con that I've never experienced. Nate, do it, bro. Damn, Nate, that is you right there. Dakota didn't even have a nickname. Dang, Cody, look at those shorts. I am really pink. We're back down, we've been in the room, we were watching some old parkour videos. We used to be them parkour boys, you know? We're coming back. Paul's parkour is making a comeback, right? I'm not. Xavier didn't say yes, but his look says yes. That's all I need to see. Says, um, I want to, but I'm worried. Well, we'll take it slow. Because. Oh, they yeah, they already. Just well, crazy, bro. we just gotta work them out a little bit. I'm 31, you're 31, Nate's about to be 31 next so, week. Gotta be 28 or 29. My knees are great. We'll test them out later. Oh, what? Okay, we ate and we're gonna see if we can get on a rock band. Here we go, it's about to be empty. It's not exactly empty. Well, let's go start lurking. We're done playing, we had fun. I didn't film so much because I was playing. Xavier had us playing Rock Lobster. Everyone was having a good time. We had people there, we had another dude on drums. Was he killing those drums? The last guy was the best. He was killing it. Yeah, he didn't want to do it, but then he did it and he was like, all right. Why didn't he want to do it? It was fun. Drums? What did he want to do? Because he was scared. He yeah, he's because he don't like us. He said, oh, look at those guys. Just kidding, he was cool. Okay, we're back at the Sheridan and let's see this line. You see people lined up, Nate? It's 3.30, we're two hours before. Hopefully no one's lined up. Oh God, there are people lined up. This Is this the line? All right, we're in line. We are two hours out. Judging by the risque cosplay contest last night, we're probably actually about three hours out. So, gonna be fun way we can go walk around and do stuff as long as a couple people stay here oh shoot we're moving we're heading inside oh we're not moving we're not moving all right well she started moving people and then when we're like that wasn't a big move she's like well it's not time to go in yet anyway right. like, you're the one who came through moving people drew and i are now taking our lap it's been over an hour of waiting we're about halfway done if things start on time it's not too bad hopefully everything will go smooth Yeah, they started a second line going the other way. There is a small one, but it's for like accessibility, like people with uh, disabilities, yeah. The cosplay contest was a lot of fun and honestly super well run and well organized. We were really worried after the risque cosplay contest the day before, but turns out there was nothing to worry about. The only weird thing is that most cosplay contests I've been to start with skits and then go into walk-ons, but this one just went straight to walk-ons. We actually ended up leaving after the walk-ons because they said they were already judging, so we assumed there wouldn't be any skits. So if there were, and we missed your skit, I'm sorry, but we were so hungry. Anyway, enjoy this montage of the walk-ons at the cosplay contest. We're already out of the cosplay contest. It was so much more well run than the risque cosplay contest. We're looking at how where to get dinner now. We were thought we were gonna get it back there, but they're not open. They were open earlier. We're looking at maybe going somewhere else because we can go in and out at the hotel. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just playing with you, bro. I love your voice. It puts me to sleep every night. 
Oh. <laughs> That's almost weirdly worse. Convention reviews every night, bro. The blog. You listen to it every night? Yeah, it's on my uh, playlist. Dang, I didn't know that. Two hours later. Oh, don't cancel us. <laughs> Drew, what are, you, what are you drinking, bro? Apple juice with a little bit of liquor in it. Oh, you knew we call it apple juice? Bro, I was a, you act like I haven't been around. Did you not see me in that parkour video earlier? Like 10 years ago? I've been around since the get-go. Yeah. I missed the first con. I missed Crossroads 1, though. And 2. I never wanted to go to 2. I remember you invited me. I didn't go. go to Did two, I invite you? To 2. I'm pretty sure it was 2. Nate was at that. That was his first con. Hey, cheers to you guys. Salud! Cheers. <laughs> Let's go! Woo! <laughs> We've been in the room for quite a while, listening to music, chilling, letting food digest. We were gonna go play rock band, but maybe not now. The rave starts in nine minutes. I think we're gonna just head on over there. I wish there was more people doing stuff in this hotel, because I like it better than the Sheridan. But most people in the Sheridan, so we gotta head over there. That's where the rave is. Whoa! Did you ever play that snowboarding game? Yes! I used to kill it when it's talking. Bro, that's SSX, bro! Alright, we are, we're in line, we're headed in. It's pretty far back. Well, it's not that bad. Cody doesn't think it's bad. I think it's, bad. it's not as bad as it was last night. They're patting people down at the front. That's why it's taking a while. Hopefully they don't tell me I can't have my camera. Only one other rave ever has done that. If it happens, I'm gonna have to go back to the room and come back. The electronic dance party was actually pretty impressive. We had no idea what to expect with this being our first time at this con. The room was packed full, the DJs killed it, and everyone was actually dancing and getting into it. I love that they had water stations on each side of the room, so it was never hard to find even though the room was packed. Our group pretty much stayed at the front the whole time. We always do this as it feels like the best spot, but we may need to start thinking about our hearing because those speakers are crazy loud when you're that close. Anyway, as you know, I can't play the actual music because YouTube will literally tie me up and beat me for every sin I've ever made, so enjoy this montage of the dance party. We just left out of the rave for a little bit at least. Maybe, well, I mean, I'm sure we'll go back for a minute at least to talk to Xavier and Megan, because they're still in there. Me, Drew, and Nate left. We stayed for three DJs. It was fun. I had a lot, a good time. I think the first DJ was killing it. The second DJ was not bad by any means, but he had some weird transitions he needs to work on. If, if I was gonna give a little criticism, <laughs> all the transitions were rough. But he was all right. The third one though, I think she was the best just because she did what I think every DJ at an anime convention should do. Which is actually play anime and gaming songs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she was doing we work it. work with Cody. No, the crowd is an anime <laughs> con, bro. You remember that one con years ago when they played Unravel and everyone freaking yeah. lost it, bro. Yeah, that was crazy. Some advice. Just play Unravel. He ain't lying, he ain't lying. Or play Zelda, because that was pretty sick. We're back at the embassy, just like last night. This is the chill vibes one. I told you the lighting and everything, it's like, go to bed. Nothing is open. Well, let's head back so they don't come down here. Guess that's it for the night then. See you guys tomorrow. This was a fun Saturday. Peace. Oh no, I say, uh, stay nerdy. Good morning guys. Sunday has arrived. Drew's already gone. He had to go home very early because uh, he has an Easter dinner that he needs to get back for our Easter or something, Easter get together. We always knew he was gonna be leaving really early on Sunday. So he got up, packed up his stuff. And he was pretty much gone when I was waking up. He was just walking out the door. Got a little bit of a headache. Other people are still asleep. It was a late night last night. Sunday at a con, you know how it is. See how much we end up doing. I think all of us just wanna play rock band. How's breakfast this morning? So good so far. <clears throat> 
It looks fresh, it looks nice. So in the old era, the goal was always stay at the Khan Hotel. I think now we're entering a new era where the goal will be stay at the Embassy Suites or at least find a suite somewhere. But Embassy Suite has been nice, man. It's nice that this is one of the Khan Hotels, but normally at Khan's, there's an Embassy Suite like right across the street. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad. We're taking the bags out. Elevator situation, not that bad. Here at the Embassy, I don't know how it is at the Sheridan. I bet most people stay at the Sheridan because it's the main hotel. Hell, but I'm gonna tell you right now you come to this con and you haven't stayed at the embassy. I do recommend it We're checked out the whole process really smooth very easy. No complaints at all I doubt we're here for too much longer though Okay, we're back and we're going straight to the OMG con wheel. We're winning a free badge today. We're about to win that free badge Get ready Exactly, that's how it works. We're all winning it back to back. Nate, we're winning that badge right now. What Let's color go. is the badge? It's red. Red? And there's four in there. We're winning all and of this them is right all in four a row. Right okay, here. all right. <laughs> Oh, dang it. You get a pencil or a glove stick. Nate, you're walking home, bro. I'm walking home, dang. You're walking home. You get a badge ribbon or a butt. <laughs> Dang, that's not red enough? <laughs> <laughs> not quite. You get a bad trip in her Oh, oh man. man. Well, we all <laughs> lost. Well, no, we won in a way. We, I won a button. You know, we're winners, but... You got a pencil? I got a pencil. You do a lot of writing? All the time. Okay, that's great. Now that we've lost, we're going to do one more round in the artist alley. If you remember the first time we came here on day one, we said it was very packed. That's because it was still day one and no one had really gotten to see around. Now it's uh, it's not nearly as packed. There's lots of walking space. It's totally fine. We can look a lot better now. Guys, they have this art book that I really want and it was 40 and they marked it down to 36. But then on Amazon, it's 21. So uh, always check Amazon when you're in the dealer's room, guys. Submissive and readable, 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 readable. S. <laughs> We're about to get on the shuttle to go back to the embassy because that's where the car is, the truck is. We are headed out of here. Nate, what would you rate it out of 10? Nine. Nine out of 10? Yeah, why not? Wow, what a weekend. Guys, thanks for coming. It's been fun. And I'll see everybody at Dokido Con. That's the next con, it's been announced. See you there. Bye. <laughs> Stay nerdy. <laughs>